What's up YouTube? This is Darkwood from Team Commerce and today I got my deck profile for you guys. The deck profile I have are Cyber Angels. And I have nothing to say about Cyber Angels, let's begin. Alright. So I want I run once um Rash because you don't really need to, you don't go to her that much in my this deck. Um since you're paid they won't have like a lot of special monsters in the extra deck. This if you run through more than one of these, it's gonna be useful not useful, you know. And it's just gonna be a cloggy. You run three of her because she's what allows you to search for from the graveyard and add back to your hand. Right. And when she summons with uh, either 10, she becomes 37 beater. And also, uh, she allows you to send one monster on your pain side field to your grave. He, sh he chooses though. So, quick question though. Um, I know a lot of Cyber Angel players run the deck with Herald, and they often run the deck with just one Dakini or not even any Dakini at all. I remember you said this was a pure Cyber Angel build, so if you could give me some uh, some sort of insight as to why you like three Dakini instead of one or zero. So the reason why I like this because it's 37 beater. Um, with, if I have two Dakinis on field, the, I once, you know, once I enter my end phase, I get my plays on, I get my whole hand reset. And once I have my Safara Queen of Dragons, I have legit like five cards in my hand all set for next turn. So if my pain try to do something something, right? Like Regeki or um or a Dark Hole or something and I don't have the spell card in my grave, let them send to your grave. Next turn I could just special all of them back to the field. So basically just like uh recycle recur everything. recursion and recycling. Yeah. Cool. Alright. The next con cards would be either ten. I run three because um I'll be you know activating Machine Angel Ritual, set Ben 10, some Eden 10, Eden Effect triggers, let me add Machine Angel Ritual back from the grave. Then look for uh, Cyber Angel uh, Kenneth or this card. And this card is the main card that goes first in the second phase to go into her. The first phase will be sending her to the grave, Ben 10. Ben 10, you need to run 3 because she's a searcher. You need to search as much um, cards as possible for certain cards. So any cards I use to search for the, um, this card, use her effect for, they either get at her or honest to him. So, random question though. Have you ever actually used Ben 10's first effect to attack over a monster and inflict the defense points and damage to them? You, 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 instead of like sending Ben 10 to summon Eden 10, summon Eden 10 to summon uh, Ben 10 and boost her up to 2800? No. Never? <laughs> Neither have I. <laughs> And one Safara Queen of Dragons. So you don't you only need one one of her. If if a fairy type is sent to your grave, no, if a light time a uh, type is sent to your graveyard, you get the the effect during the end phase, which is not bad. And that's all for the ritual monsters. For regular monsters, I run three Cyber Angel Pennant Angels, the fuck you call those shits? Cyber Petite Angel. I call them gumballs, so three gumballs. <laughs> so the three gumballs the main card you you wanna run three because you um you can use um cyber you know machine angel ritual send this card from the hand to grave with um eighty ten some of the the big girl the level eight one and then use the if you have the field spot on the field return back two spell cards fetch them to her and then get her effect off and you still have your normal summon to go for so I mean since her effect active when she spells summon you can normal summon a monster that says I say oh this card Manju. Get his effect off. The only reason why I want two because I'm, I'm more likely to use them than need to. Oh, gotcha. And I go into her more more than this. Um, two nonsense. I want to run three because, or because you know it's just too cloggy and you know it's banned as well. It limited to two, but sucks. For spells, three ritual sanctuary, the field spell. You run one, one three because we activated. You discard spell on um, card from your hand. Then you could um, get a, either a spell card from your deck or a, a ritual monster. And then the second fact is that you can return any number of spell cards from your graveyard and special them a monster from your graveyard equal to that. Um, with a level of that, how many spell cards you return? You return six. Special on a level six monster. Three machine uh, machine angel ritual. Why? Because you need to. That's why. <laughs> if you don't have it, then you fucked. I think there's a lot of recursion in this deck anyway, so you can always recycle them back. Preparation on rights. 
you need number one. Well, you can run th six of them, but you know, how the army said, you only need a lot to run one. This is no bullshit, though. Uh, one preparation yeah, of It's because of Necroz. Since I only run Safari Queen of um, Dragons, I only run one of these. So, question though, because you only run one Saf uh, Safira. If you draw either the Safira or the Ritual part of it, doesn't pr uh, pr uh, pre preparation of rights just become like dead? Yes. Is there any way that you can uh... use it? Yeah. Ritual Sanctuary. That's why um, I run three of this. Because if this, if I had the two cards and I in the field, mm -hmm. then I just use this card to discard the grave and get the special effect off. Yeah. Kind of good if you're running like terraformings and stuff too. It's, uh, you know, it's the same same sort of logic as yeah. uh, running a field spell that can discard dead terraformings or uh, just cards in your hand you can't use, right? Yeah. All right. So since so I have any, I, you know, there's this, this card I added to the deck because um, in total the whole deck is 40. But I was missing one card, and I'm gonna go go up 39 cards. I had three MSTs and everything, and I couldn't think of other cards that I could put in. So I just added this card from random. Uh, I might take it out because I'm not sure what to put in, but for now, it's somewhat working, honestly. That's, that's super interesting. It's technically, like, I, I'm curious because I saw this uh, in, in the deck when you were running it. Um, you know, I've looked at Rituals Foregone. It's kind of like the, um, the version of... Uh, I guess the um, ritual version of Instant Fusion, which, uh, of course, everyone knows now. Um, but Ritual Foregone's effect states that it's, uh, I think, it's special summon any ritual monster from your um, from your hand. So, even if it's, a, like, a minus two, do you ever find yourself using it for, like, exceed summons or for, like, yeah, kind of... basically. Yeah. And the fact that, but this is just pure, um, you know, Cyber Angels, I don't run any disease. Yeah, yeah. Which I should, honestly, but, you know, whatever. Okay. Um, three MCs. Why? Because I'm too poor to actually afford a twin twister. Would you run twin twister if you had it though? Uh, yeah, I'm run one twister. Uh, twin twister. The uh, I take this card out and one one twister. Uh, twin twister. Because in this deck, you need all the monsters and you can't discard them the grave. Yeah, yeah. Unless it's like that that gumball. Thing, yeah, it'd be worth it. Two dark holes. Why? Because I was trade a plane like I mean, a couple of days ago. I was playing with somebody. With um, the Thunder deck, like Watts deck, and he had like two monsters. I couldn't do shit. Oh, those those uh, those hoppers. That that yeah, that creates a hoppers, big though. lock right there, yeah, man. The fucking hoppers, though. Yeah, I can't. I can't. All right, I've run three of these, Seven Souls. Why? Because I can. Why? Because of the fact I like him, and it allows me to, you know. Recycle everything back into my hand, and then I have my my hand all full again. Yeah. So it's a minus one on summoning in a ritual deck where you're required to have at least three cards in hand, including the ritual monster and spell, in order to make the summon. How do you justify like running three ascendant souls? Like, do you break it all? Uh, never. Would I never draw into these cards unless I um didn't power shuffle. But this card usually I would draw like one or two, but I'll never see it because I'll be searching into my deck too much. Oh, I see. So like searching, searching a lot, and then um, be drawing it when you need it, and like yeah. have like rituals on the field. It's like Ben Ten also does that, and I guess it's a good thing, you know, because um, the deck has no herald, so like more recursion, right? Uh, one day a piece. Mm -hmm. So if, if I do end up breaking and have this card, I got that one extra turn to do something. Uh, one him a light. For the you know switch or something on um, Safara. Photon Bled, so I could special summon um, the Gumball from my deck, from my hand, on my pain side of my pain turn, get that effect off next turn when he destroys it, uh, return two spell cards by using this card, special summon the Gumball and add a, a ritual monster or, or a spell card. Oh, interesting. More combo plays. A uh, Monster Reincarnation, discard a freaking Gumball, get my Benton. Gumball. Um, eight terraforming because I need to get the rich, uh, you know, ritual card and everything. Nah, just two. All right. And that's it for the deck. So uh, that's it for the Cyber Angel deck. Anything else you want to say? Dark Wolf is for the win. Dark Wolf for the win. Uh, I'd like to thank you guys for watching uh, Team Time Riders Dark Wolf Cyber um, Cyber Angel deck. Um, if you liked the video, please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. And as always, stick it to Team Time Riders for more great content just like this. Uh, we'll catch you guys later. Peace.